Hello and welcome to a new era of Gopher women's basketball. I'm Corbu Status, voice of the Gopher women's radio broadcast, uh, part of the elite crew, if you will, with Lynette Showquist for the Gopher Radio Network. And we're joined by the new head coach of the Gopher women's basketball team, Marlene Stallings. Uh, coach, congratulations on the job. Tell us a little bit about what the uh, last couple of days have been like for you. Well, thank you. Uh, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, I've been back and forth to Minneapolis a couple of times. Um, I had to take care of some things back in Richmond and then the um, excitement of coming here and I'm getting ready to meet the team and uh, it's just everything that goes along with that. But it's been a whirlwind, but nonetheless, uh, one of the most exciting times of my life. Was there something that you saw in this team that said, you know what, this is just where I want to be, the university itself or the, the makeup of the roster that made you think, you know what, I can take that high tempo offense, bring it here and have a lot of success? Oh, without question. Uh, the makeup of the roster is solid. Um, there's a solid class coming in, and we think we can take that where it is and really grow it. Uh, we're looking big picture at being um, nationally relevant year in and year out, being an NCAA tournament contender year in and year out. Um, so we have very high expectations of where we want to take this program. It certainly is a process. It does take a little bit of time, but we're not going to be uh, extremely patient. Uh, <laughs> but we are going to be realistic. How do you deal with those expectations? So that's not an easy thing to come into where you're, you're coming into a team with two honorable mention All-Americans and they want to go to the NCAA tournament like yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, and that will be our goal. Um, mm -hmm. Every Everything that we do um, will have an end result goal of going to the NCAA tournament. That's why you train in April and May and June and July. And that's why you do what you do, is to have an opportunity to play in the big dance. And that will certainly be our goal year in and year out um, as quickly as next year. You talked about uh, your offense in the press conference. It's nicknamed what the Fury. Can you talk <laughs> a little bit about the philosophy behind that offense? Well, Fury um, became branded uh, this past year um, at VCU and Fury means that we want to be relentless on the offensive end of the floor. Um, we don't want to leave until the ball goes in the basket. Mm -hmm. So it involves some several different components. Um, obviously rebounding is big with that because we will take some quick shots. We do love the three ball. Um, so there's some different components worked in with that. But uh, bottom line is uh, we want to put the ball in the basket at a very high level. Talk about your recruiting philosophy. Obviously, recruiting is such a big part of success at this level, and you've had a lot of success recruiting. Can you talk a little bit about what you're looking for? Sure. Well, first of all, we will look at fit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as we evaluate talent, uh, it's got to be a good fit for our program. And we have some things that we call non negotiables as a staff. Sure. Uh, we look at basketball IQ, we look at ability to score. We look at toughness and work ethic, um, things that we feel need to be in place by the time they come to the Big Ten level. Um, we look at um, intangibles off the court. Are they a good person? Can they succeed here academically? So there are a number of things that we look at, but ultimately they need to be a good fit for what we're trying to do in the overall piece, not just on the basketball floor. You mentioned off the court stuff. What do you want to see from your team in terms of in the classroom, community, stuff like that? Well, our staff will be very committed to academics. Um, we have a lot of internal incentives and things that we, we do. Uh, we have a 3.0 club um, and, and things to help motivate them to be a part of. Uh, but it will certainly be a big emphasis on our program. Um, in terms of um, off the court and in involvement in the community, uh, we want to be visible. But uh, that will obviously be somewhat seasonal. Sure. Um, it's, it's harder to do in season, but out of season we want to be visible and we certainly want to um, embrace this community and be a part of it at a high level. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck. Thank you.